Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today you're back for another The Last Tube. In this episode I'm going to be talking about cross stitching specifically and I will also be doing some of my special vlogoween style uh, box, box openings. Uh, I have a, I just got my stitchy box in the mail. Uh, stitchybox.com her Halloween bash box so I have quite a few of those to open as well as day six of the Black Needle Society's trick-or-treat box so before we begin though I would like to say thank you all so much for watching my last video and for the 26 of you who wanted to win this little teddy bear this came from the world of cross stitching magazine and it is a little kit includes all the kit contents that you would need in order to stitch this little card of a teddy bear. And out of those 26, our winner today is ACF Creations, who says, Your Soul of the Rose is coming along so nicely. I am so itchy to pick up my Heaven and Earth design too, but I have to finish some of my whips. Right now, I'm working on a stocking for my daughter. She's 10 months. I don't know if she's going to appreciate it. Maybe I should get her a teddy bear instead. It's never too early for Christmas and winter stuff, especially when it comes to cross stitch. Well, congratulations, ACF Creations. I am going to go ahead and send you an email so that I can get your mailing address and send this off to you. Well done. Uh, and it's always fun to do little giveaways here on my channel. Uh, but uh, let us get cracking because I have a lot to talk about and not a lot of time uh, and no editing today. So. Uh, last time, I remember talking about doing a restart, and I was telling you that I wanted to do Long Dog Samplers the Pilgrim, uh, which I'm sure that you've seen before. If this is your first time here, you might want to go back to last week's video first. So this I'm considering kind of a new start, and I want to know what you think. So I went ahead and I used the beautiful pink fabric. Look at that beautiful pink fabric. And I decided to start in the middle. This is a Brandy Be Stitch Me fabric. And this is one over one on 36 count linen. And hopefully, I can't actually see what you're seeing. So let me just make it a little bit smaller. That is what it looks like. I don't know if I'm sold on it because I was when I was stitching it I was like oh yes you know like I get it now I don't know it has a lot of contrast in it but maybe maybe it's I don't know what do you think if it gets bigger maybe one over one just isn't I don't know I don't know how to feel I was happy about it the day I did it and now that I'm looking at it I'm like hmm doesn't really look like much and you see there is like in this the corner here the oops sorry the right hand corner there there are some holes and there's this diamond shape here you can't really see that can you which is a shame so this might have been for not but I had to try it I'd love to know what you think though down below uh, also, this week, I'm going to take this off. This is just, this is my um, Plumatisse shawl that I knit last year. Really pretty yarn. This is yarn was from Ruby and Roses. And I got the mohair as well. And it's super soft, super fluffy, and I will wear it later, but it is just hot under these studio lights. And I just took a shower, so my hair is all like... Anyway, I hope that's the screen grab. Um, oh, I have a finish for now. I'm doing the Witchy Stitcher's Cryptid Sal, and I took it off of the frame so that you could see the whole thing. Ta-da! I finished the Jersey Devil today. Whoops. I said no edits, but I don't know. That's the Jersey Devil. Isn't it cute? I'm really liking this stitch along. So 
So I did that in two sessions. Um, this particular cryptid is a lot smaller than the other four. So as you can see, this is on a Bee Stitch Me brandy fabric as well. It's called Dreamsicle. And I was looking for just the right fabric, just the right pattern for this fabric. And I think that this is the right one. So on Friday, we will get another cryptid. I have no idea where it goes though. And the next one is definitely going to be an international cryptid and not a, uh, an American cryptid. So that's super duper exciting. And then the piece de la rest I said that completely wrong. I'm not going to pretend like I'm fancy. The um, thing that y'all are following me for, I am doing my Soul of the Rose Heaven and Earth design for the marathon for missing and murdered indigenous women, girls and two-spirit people. Uh, me and Michelle, Aaron, and Alicia are all doing this. Well, we're hosting it, but um, there's like 40... There's 44 people participating, 43 other than me. We're trying to raise money for the coalition to stop violence against native women because native women in North America are disproportionately murdered or go missing compared to any other ethnicity in that area. So uh, we want to raise awareness and raise money for this particular charity because they educate and they work closely with communities to uh, solve these issues that are happening. And so in order to raise money, I am stitching 100 hours solid on this piece, uh, the max color version of Soul of the Rose by John, Morley, Wa bleh, mm -hmm. John William Waterhouse, which was produced by Heaven and Earth Designs. Uh, and this piece is a monster. I'm on page eight and here's my progress. I finished page seven. Let me bring it in closer so you can see the detail. I pin it, finished page seven and I am now on page eight. I've spent the last three days, I think, you. Um, I've spent the last three days taking all of the parked threads that were here that you may have seen on Instagram and uh, burying them. I don't know the correct term. It's October. I'll make it creepy. Uh, and put putting them where they belong in here. If you're looking for a video on how I use Pattern Keeper to park threads and how I maneuver with parked threads, I do have a video on that. Just look up parking on my channel and that video will come up. Uh, so I'm super happy. I did move the cue snap a little bit so that I had more room on this side. And after each page, I will continue to move the cue snap. Um, I actually had a request from a follower to show them the back. And I realized that I haven't been showing you the back and I want you to feel like this is okay. This is the back of my heaven and earth design. It's, it's, it's crazy. It looks like a tapestry. Well, it is a tapestry, but it looks like a reverse one. Um, when you're working max color and you're working with parked threads and you're going one page at a time like I am, you're gonna have crazy parked threads back there. If you are the kind of person who wants to stitch nicely and neatly, okay, but I'm not. No one is gonna see my back except you. Um, I'm not entering this into any competitions. This is gonna go on my walls and the only person judging it, me, it is me. And if the future generations of my family judge me for it, well, I'll probably be dead by then, but I won't let them do it to my face. Anyway, uh, this, here has brought me up to 59 and a half hours, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But 
I am almost at 60, 60 hours complete, but I did not want to start adding colors after I parked them all or after I finished them all. You know what I mean? So uh, this week I did 10 and a half hours, which means that I'm going to donate $11 this week because I'm donating as well as stitching $1 for every hour stitched. I'm rounding it up. So $11 this week. If you would like to uh, go ahead and match me, that would be awesome. If you can't, that's okay. I totally understand. However, before you go and rush off and make a donation, I wanted to tell you something. This week, this Sunday, uh, we are having a stitchy Zoom again. Uh, Zoom is a an application, which I'm sure that a lot of you know what it is, but if you don't know what it is, it's where you can uh, do a conference call. And so we can have up to, I think, 30 people in the call or 35 people, something like that. Don't remember exactly uh, what we limited it to, but... I would like to invite you to, if you if you do donate $10 or more, uh, you can sign up, reserve your spot, and I will put the details, I will put how to do it here in the description below. Um, but basically, you go up to the, log into the, excuse me. Sometimes my thoughts go faster than my mouth, and I am in a rush. It's only been 11 minutes sorry. If you go to the sign up genius link, follow the instructions, reserve a spot, then go to the donation link, which is the website 99 pledges, donate $10 or more, then send your confirmation email to resist itch, Alicia, you can send it to her on Instagram or by email. Just have a look there at the Sign Up Genius, the first link I'm giving you. Uh, on there, it has the instructions on where to send your receipt. That's very important that you send the receipt, the confirmation email, uh, as well as sign up on that um, website. Because if you do one and not the other, we won't know either way. So I need you to do both if you're interested in joining us on the Zoom. That is going to be Sunday, Sunday morning, 8 a.m. Pacific time, which is 9, 9 Mountain. Hang on. Am I getting this right? 9 Mountain, 10 Central, 11. What's the other one? Am I forgetting one? I thought it was 12 noon. Am I getting this wrong? I'll find out for you. It's five o'clock here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm terrible at this. I thought I had it. And then I, oh boy. What is 8 a.m. Pacific time in Eastern time? Oh, that's 11 o'clock. Okay, let me just double check. Don't mark your calendars yet. Uh, oh, it's not 8 a.m. It's 9 a.m. Aha. That's where I was off. Not 8 a.m. Not on a Sunday, Rachel. 9 a.m. Pacific time. 10 Mountain time. 11 Central. 12 Eastern. That's 5 p.m. Irish time, UK time. 6 Germany. 7, 8 onwards. So I hope that you will join. If you have the time, if you are would like to stitch with some of us and just meet us and talk to us, we would love to see what you're stitching on and we would love to use it as an opportunity to raise money for this amazing charity. So that is, that is the thing that's happening on Sunday. Now, is that all of the stitching? That is all the stitching. I blew through that because I am going to go uh, say goodbye to some friends of mine. They are leaving um, Ireland and they are moving to Spain. And how exciting is that? I mean, really, um, they're moving to an incredible country where it's always nice and warm and sunny and I'm super excited for them. So let's go ahead and open up some of these. Um, actually, before we do that, plans 
Friday, a new cryptid drops for the Witchy Stitcher. So I'll be doing that. Uh, on, I will just continue, keep going with my Heaven and Earth sign as always. I did not get a chance to work on Midnight Way by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I said that I was going to do that last night, but I actually got very tired. I haven't been feeling 100% the past few days. So uh, I did not touch that, but I will touch that this week, as well as some more. I've got some more Halloween plans and a spooky kind of, you know, cross-stitchy plans. And I would really like to start Dracula's Confession by Lindy Stitches. But we will see how the week goes because who really knows? Who knows? Uh, Friday is also the release. I said I wasn't going to talk about knitting, but it's also the release of Stephen West's... What is it called? <laughs> Stephen West's mystery knit-along called... You're screaming it. The thing, the thing. There's one... There, anyway, it's happening. Right, y'all. My brain has left the building. Sorry. Uh, I, that's what happens when I leave filming for too late in the day. This is why I film earlier in the day. So what I'm going to do now is open up some, some boxes. So if you do not want to be spoiled, or if you haven't received your box or opened it yet, maybe you want to click off and come back, or I will see you all soon. But today is day six for the Black Needle Society's um, Trick or Treat box. So let's go ahead and open it. I have been so curious about what's in this box because it sounds like it's wrapped in styrofoam. My nails are not going to like this. <gasps> what is that? Whoa. It's a Rocky Horror Cup. Is it really? <gasps> Wait, what is this? What is this? Okay, look at this. It says, I shiver with anticipation. <laughs> but it has a dome. It has a separation. And it has a spoon. So what on earth is it? Is it like a yogurt cup? A portable yogurt cup? I don't know. I'm going to scratch the scratch card and see if we can find out. Oh, cool. It says Rocky Horror Snack Cup by the Black Needle Society. Whip up a tasty snack to bring on your next evening drive. Your lips will shiver with antisa. Love that movie. Has anybody watched it so far? It is October after all. We must watch all of the Halloween movies. I have failed miserably at watching one every day. That was the idea. So that's really cool. It's a snack cup. You can take it, <laughs> take it on the go, separate, you know, maybe you could have, uh, I don't know, apple slices and peanut butter. If you want to do. And, and then there's a spoon as well. That is so cool. I really like that. Nice. Thank you very much for that really cool gift. Now, also, I almost forgot, Black Needle Society News. They do have a box coming up, uh, which will be released on s Sunday. Bear with me, it's a murder mystery box. Um, so I just wanna let you know that I am a rep for the company. Um, and so they basically what will happen is they have a bi-monthly month club, bi-monthly box club, subscription box club. They have one-off boxes, which are special, you know, special boxes like this one that I'm talking about right now that are not included in the subscription. And then they have retreat in a boxes. So this one, if I can just bring it up, is called Murder Mystery. You can check them out on Instagram if you want to get the whole the whole uh, introduction to this. But basically, 
It's a 2022 Novels and Needles box, a murder mystery box. Some box items are inspired by a few of our favorite literary detectives. However, we've created our own mystery for you to solve using the contents of your box. You'll have the opportunity during an afternoon event on April 23rd to question the sub subjects. For the first time, we will be hosting this live stitching chat via Zoom. They will also have a Facebook group for the event, sharing posts and information. Boxes go on sale October 10th at 10 a.m. Central Time to the public. And if you are a current active bi-monthly subscriber, you will receive 24 hour early access to purchase the box on October the 9th. So mark your calendars, put it into your online calendar and make sure that you set an alarm. All right, now I'm gonna share with you Stitchy Box. I just received my Halloween bash box in the mail today. And we have six packages to open. So this is going to take a minute, but I'm so happy it got here. I was super duper worried that it wasn't going to get here. There were two versions of this box available when I purchased it months ago. There was a regular 2021 Halloween box, and then there was the bash box. The bash box is a little bit fancier. It was more expensive. It's supposed to have bougier items in it. I know. Uh, it did it didn't ship until just before October 1st and I was very worried that it wouldn't get here in time it's a few days late but I can handle it it's okay she says thank you so much for joining us for our 2021 Halloween bash box enclosed are 31 packages all labeled all labeled a day number please start with day one I hope you will enjoy opening up these packages as much as I have enjoyed selecting them for you. If you will be sharing on social media, use the hashtag StitchyBox. Can't wait to see all the awesome stuff you make with the stitchy goodness in this box. Happy stitching, Liz. Thank you, Liz. I am super excited to see what you've curated for us. So let me find the days. I have day one, day four. We're doing one to six. Might take a minute. Oh, there's day two. Three, three, five, and six. This might take a minute. <laughs> there's six. There's three. Now I need five. These are mostly pretty small things. I'm surprised. 14, 24, 12. Oh, that one's trying to come undone. Five. Okay. I'm going to leave the rest in there. So these are all very small items. All right, we'll start with day one. And a few of these I have been spoiled on. So if you are doing this and you're putting it on Instagram, please, please give a, a spoiler warning. So if you have not opened your bash box, if you do not want to be spoiled, please don't watch this. We have Floss. This is Flower Silk. Day one, Flower Silk exclusive. Welcome to the 2021 Halloween Bash. We start off with a brand new Flower Silk colorway. Okay, I've heard of Flower Silk. So this is um, Silk Floss that they've hand dyed. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? Please ignore my husband. He is making uh, dinner for us. This is called Witch Light, as in W-I-T-C-H. Very pretty. I love the colors. So that was day one. Here is day two. Could it be? Could it be? I love these countdown boxes. They're great. What is it? Ooh. Ooh. Day two, Labradorite rounds. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Labradorite. In this fancy Halloween bash box, all our beads are gemstones. Ooh, Labradorite is one of my favorite stones. Love those little flashes of magic. 
they are really pretty and they're super faceted. This is something that I would not be able to show you on camera. I think it you would have to see this in person. I'm going to put this in the first box though, or no, I won't. I'll find a safe place for this. I do not want to lose that. <laughs> All right, starting out good. Day three, another small one. That's the benefit of uh, getting your box late is opening all the things at once, basically. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, pretty. What is this? This is a pumpkin charm. A happy little pumpkin you can attach to a special project. Look at how tiny. Doesn't want to focus on it. So cute. <laughs> I don't know how. Well, there is there are there are two loops there. So it's possible. It's definitely possible. But holy bat like it's so small. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a really safe place for all these goodies. Oh, day four. Almost showed it. didn't show it before opening. Ooh, what's this? It's a thicker package, so... <gasps> Stitchy hugs? Oh, it's floss tags. Cute, from Sarcy Girl. It says, keep those fabulous Halloween threads organized with these fun floss tags. Lay threads across it. Okay, hold on. I gotta open this. I can't imagine it. Ooh, cool. Okay, what does it say? Lay threads across the narrow part of the piece. Give dangling threads a simple twist. Push and pull threads through the large hole. Oh, like that. Okay, I gotcha. Um, do I have any thread that I can show that with? Ooh, not really. But basically you lay it here, then you push the ends of it through the hole, and then you can dangle it on your, on like a binder ring or however you'd like to secure them up here. Isn't that print cute? I like that. I like that a lot. And they're made out of like a thick kind of cardboard material. See? Cool. Awesome. I'll keep those together. I might put them back in the container just so they don't like scatter everywhere. I can imagine a lot of these things will. Day five. Almost done. Yee! more floss what does it say day five pine stitchy silk are you brave or foolish enough to head into the deep dark forest on halloween either way this fabulous stitchy silk can add a forest to your stitching stitchy silk by silk by stitchy box limited edition french spun silk pine Pretty color. Sorry. Isn't that a beautiful emerald? So I know that she sells Stitchy Silk. It's stitchysilk.com. S-T-I-T-C-H-Y. Stitch Y. Silk. S-I-L-K dot com. Pretty. And a six. Heavy. I think it's a needle minder. I'm guessing metallic. Ooh. Doesn't want to come out. Ooh, what? <gasps> Pretty. Oh my gosh, that's very heavy. Wow. Day six, a skeleton key. Did you notice? 
The new locked door that appeared in the bedroom? Open it up with this key once the scratching sound stops. Or, you know, you could just add this to a creepy project, whatever works for you. Pretty. It's a little bit rusty and dirty looking. That's cool. This is from Factory Direct Craft. Oval metal skeleton key. Cool. That'll look really neat on a project. Wow. I like it. So these goodies are all from uh, Stitchy Box. And I'm really enjoying them so far. So that's really exciting. Um, thank you all so much for spending time with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it here. I hope that you're all having a wonderful week. Let me know what you're working on down below and please let me know what you think about the Long Dog Pilgrim uh, restart. Is it supposed to look like that? Should I bother? I don't know. Anyway, I'd love to get your feedback on that. Uh, thanks for coming back day in and day out. Be sure to join me every day for Vlogoween. I will be opening up these boxes and uh, sharing their contents with you, as well as giving you daily crafty updates on what I've been doing. So until I see you tomorrow, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Take care, all. Bye!